You guys, I have a theory. That's right, sit tight and buckle in for another Marvel Spider-Man 2 video because this one's going to be a little bit out there. One of the major reveals of the Marvel Spider-Man 2 story trailer has to be the fact that Martin Lee, or Mr. Negative, is going to return in this game. Might I add that his design and character model looks graphically phenomenal. I always thought that there could be a chance he would return, but I had no idea what context that would be in. So let's theorize. One thing we can pick from the initial gameplay trailer was the fact that Kraven and his goons are heading to Manhattan, to search for a real challenge, a true hunt for Kraven. In that trailer, we get a shot of a tablet that displays a number of heroes and villains within New York City. But one thing we should really point out is the fact that on that tablet, it does display a number of Spider-Man villains at Rikers. So I propose that Kraven's goons actually assist in a prison breakout to unleash these villains into the wild for Kraven to hunt. Why, you might ask? Well, Kraven is probably the only person sick enough to want to do something like that. If you take a close look at the story trailer, you can see that Martin Lee appears to be wearing an orange prison jumpsuit, meaning that he must have just escaped. The thing about Kraven is that he likely wants to kill these superhuman beings, not capture them, which goes against what our Spider-Men believe in, which leads us to a race to capture and return these villains to Rikers before Kraven ever gets a chance to hunt them. We get a glimpse of this kind of storyline in the gameplay trailer where Kraven appears to want to hunt Lizard and our Spider-Man are more interested in protecting Lizard and getting him away from Kraven. So here we have our Spider-Man running around New York City trying to capture these villains, and this is where Wraith comes in because, like Kraven, she also wants to kill these villains, being that she has lost faith in the justice system and feels the only way to stop these villains are to just kill them and get rid of them altogether. This could cause a pretty big mess for our Spider-Man, but I'm really interested to see how that confrontation between Mr. Negative and Miles will go down. Imagine the city in total chaos as there's all of these villains and Kraven trying to hunt them, and then you're Spider-Man trying to stop Kraven from hunting them by capturing these villains instead. It could be a true mess. But I do think that that showdown between Mr. Negative and Miles could be a true test for Miles coming face to face with the man who killed his father. Only this time Miles has the power to do something about it to kill Lee if he really wanted to. I can't wait to see how this scenario works out. But yeah, that is my short theory for how Martin Lee escapes and comes face to face with Miles in this game. I'd love to know what you guys think about it and feel free to point out any holes in my theory. Be sure to leave a like to show me some support and subscribe if you're new here and wanna check out all of my other Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.